So I was about to make a TikTok, and my daughter came in with this. Sassy. Mom, I'm going to tell you this before they tell you this, because they're going to say a lie. Because you know how you told me men are providers and protectors, right? Men are providers and protectors. So that means they go outside and work. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you know how David's dad stay home, right? Yes. While David's mom goes out and work. Okay. So they was bothering me talking about all the other stuff. And I was like, that's why your dad's a bitch. And then he's like, I'm going to tell your mom, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, but I don't want you to be mad at me because I call him a bitch because he stays home while his wife is working. They want to speak to you downstairs. (laughs) Man, 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 those kids will let your ass have it, won't they? It's crazy what you say around kids and they just, it just sticks in their memory and they repeat that shit, especially when you're around your neighbors and you talk talking shit about one of them. But it says a lot, right? It says a lot. And like I said, you know, I talk about this homosexual thing repeatedly because it's something that I, you know, being in the business that I'm in real estate and credit, I, I think I mentioned to you like 90 something percent of my clients are women and mostly all these women are in relationships and they're the one who are spearheading the progression in the relationship by trying to move up trying to get better things trying to do better in life trying to purchase a home things like that and there's always the guy who may not be working or sitting at home while she goes out to work and it makes you wonder once again why does this happen is it about you know, is it about control? Is it about a certain amount of leverage that this guy has over her or she has over him by being able to kick him out at will or is she just lonely? Does, does it just come to the point where she doesn't have to level up? And she has a guy that's on the couch, sitting at home, playing Call of Duty, uh, 2K or whatever have you all day long and hasn't cleaned up a thing while she's out there you know, busting her ass to, t- to make sure the bills pay, which once again, you know, and I'll try to link this video in here about this, the other young lady that was talking about this, it leads to frustration and bitterness, if you will. And she's going to unleash that frustrate frustration and bitterness on this guy who's in turn is going to proceed to get some buns on the outside. That's how it goes, because she might be emasculating him in the process sometimes. He might be just saying that, you know, he's calling the shots and he's making her work and he's not going to get a job because there's no job that's worth his time that's willing to pay him enough. He's not about to get no minimum wage job and sit out there looking crazy, but guarantee you once again, you go to prison, you'll be working for the for pennies a day. No, no problems at all. Right. But when you're out in the streets, you're going to lay up under some woman and do that. So she says this, and kids are kids are funny. Kids will tell the truth. What is they? They said little kids and, and and drunks will always tell you the truth. Said this to the kid. Now what happened? They told the kid told the parents, and as a man, that that's got to make you think, man. Like, damn, I really am, or either you just don't care, and now they want to talk to the mama about why she telling her kids that uh, you know that he ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the language that she used in particular. So the fact of the matter is we know these things, but when other people say them, they hurt. <laughs> Especially the woman probably feeling some type of way and she is feeling some type of way. And it's just, you know what, you know what you're dealing with. You may feel like this is the best you can do. You may want a, another man, but your shit, your shit ain't together. So y'all all probably just frustrated and he don't even know where his next meal gonna come from. Just a perpetual cycle of women taking care of men, saying they're wearing the pants and end up frustrated, jaded, so on and so forth, look at relationships different and basically just end up living vicariously through your children. And it's sad it's that way, but you know, it is what it is, man. <laughs> but I just think this shit's funny, man. Men, Stand on your own too. Men, get your own stuff. 
Men, don't ever have a woman have leverage over you. So let me know what you guys think about this video, man. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Cali and Linktree. Subscribe to my backup channel. The link is in the description. Purchase all my books and merch. All the links are in the description. With that being said, this is wisdom. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the Almighty. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's beat maker. And I don't know. I will put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto, you them.